The GFA president speaking on the floor of Congress on Tuesday called on members to reject those who speak ill about the leadership and the governance of Ghana football. According to him, a corporate Ghana would not like to associate themselves with the brand football if such members are not rejected. However, speaking to the media after the Congress, Ket Okraku said it was not an attempt to gag members from expressing divergent opinions. I'm not trying to gag my colleagues. I'm not trying to gag uh, my colleagues in the media as well. Um, what I have said is that let's always at all times think Ghana football. Okay, um, We are one family. Um, we may be different in opinions on how we think that the game must be administered. But at the end, we are the same people who have appointed uh, or given opportunity to some of us to lead the family. Okay, So yes, you may have divergent views, but we have good platforms that we can share our divergent views. A uh, typical example being the Congress of the Football Association. So I'm saying that, look, yes, let's keep to our divergent views, but let's, let's, let's hold on to occasions like this where, as a group, we come together and we dissect our football business and, and and then speak about issues that affect us uh, in, in common and, and then find um, very good solutions to our problems, okay? We shouldn't resort to the public space. Kurt believes that when there's positivity surrounding the product Ghana football, corporate bodies would be interested in investing in the game of football. He believes in the next two, three years, Ghana football will be great. Building a, a product is not easy, okay? Um, uh, we'll go through challenges, but when we believe that ultimately we want to position Ghana football in a certain light, we'll always be positive. And you could see that in the beginning of the season, when we were very positive, it affected every facet of, of the football. I mean, attendances started to come up, media people were interested, corporate Ghana started becoming more interested and then boom we had the COVID. So I'm very positive about the future. I think that uh, we have a very good team at the council level. Gradually we're building the capacity at the uh, at the administrative level, at the secretariat, across the region also. And I, I believe that um, uh, some one, two, three years down the line, um, the Ghanaian football industry will be very, very strong. The GFA president has already initiated certain steps that would ensure that Ghana football is on the rise. Recently, the FA secured $2.2 million from the FIFA Forward One program to put up projects that will help the development of football in the country.